First to review, I play a couple hours so you don't have to. Grid Legends, one of the free monthly PlayStation games, has a PS4 and PS5 version, came out in 2022. And it's a pretty standard car racing game, however it's rather bewildering. Because probably the most interesting and grasping part of this game is trying to dissect the decision of making a live action documentary dividing these races. You see these people prop up and you're doing some double takes trying to figure out if if it's actually like insanely good animation or what's going on here, why would they go live action for a racing game? Which you really have to stretch to try to make story important in. And the scenes are actually pretty decent. Although characters are rather one dimensional, they're fairly well executed. You gotta choose which one you kill. Okay. <clears throat> but when you have one central story that you put a lot of effort into, you're not gonna put as much effort on making that malleable and allowing it to adjust to the actual gameplay and the player experience. So this really causes things to break down because in the story land of cutscenes, Seneca is a struggling team. We're trying to prove ourselves, live up to the already established teammate Yume, and you just gotta scrap to do your best. Meanwhile, I've won every race! Like I got first place in probably the first nine missions I did, and the story was really in pretty significant contrast to everything that I was actually doing. So the story didn't reflect the hype of my accomplishments, and I was still getting plenty of slander for things that I actually didn't even do in-game. Part of the new driver broke the tail off that demon. Which is putting you way too close to the feeling of <laughs> And we never want to see that. I hate you! This isn't really a brag that I was winning all these early matches and getting first every time, because I think the base difficulty of this game is far too easy. At all difficulties, you're able to actually rewind the mistakes you make pretty far back, and that level of forgiveness is pretty concerning. Ew. This just feels wrong. It's also pretty easy to not make mistakes because you're given the correct path and the speed that's gonna be appropriate that's constantly updated for you. Even after bumping up the difficulty multiple levels to expert, I still felt like I didn't have to try that hard or play that well to complete the objectives. So it's really easy to flat out win these races, and then the actual tasks that you're getting to link up with the story are just trivial. Usually I've accomplished that easy task within the first minute of the match, and then the rest of it is just going around doing the same thing over and over, especially once you get to first place, and you've got laps of doing the least compelling aspect of racing, which is doing it all by yourself with a complete lead and no pressure. Pressure. <laughs> no, no, screw that. And there isn't much that's special about this game that really elevates it past anything from a really standard racing experience. And so big picture, this game feels bland. And then the little things of this game are really unimpressive as well. One of the most uninspired game soundtracks that I've heard through this series, and it does nothing distinctive through that. Seeing large chunks of the cost really tones back a lot of the satisfaction of each race. Environments don't feel super special and also don't really adapt realistically. Like this game where it's pouring rain that does absolutely nothing to the course to make it play differently. And it feels like a project with peculiar priorities that wasn't put together properly or well thought through. Like also, why are we going back in time backlogging to start the story in the exact time frame of the outbreak of COVID, but it does not acknowledge this at all? And they're still sticking Sapirs into the stands while listing the dates where you know what was going on in the world at that time. And the dates are an unnecessary addition to begin with, so it's just like taking you out of the game world. You're like, I know this is bullshit. There won't be people on the streets of Chicago at this time. Why are we doing this? Unless the entire goal out of the game is just a propaganda piece to show that COVID never existed at all? <laughs> Stay away from the game like a sickness. Nothing special about it. That's it for the first two review. Peace out.